Good morning, and it's time to make coffee. So, what we do first of all is we switch it on here, and it will, and it will sing its little song to you, um, and it will warm up, and you'll know that it has warmed up properly because this light here will stop flashing. In the meantime, we're going to check the level of the coffee, and you just lift this up like that and yeah there's some coffee there but we could probably add um, a little bit more now we only ever add coffee beans to this um, and that looks about right that will do us for a couple of days and you just put the lid back on like that now that has warm, warmed up, so it's ready to go. But just before I start making coffee, I'm going to have a look at the water level. And you can see um, underneath here, there is the water level. So actually it's fine and, and, and that would do a couple of days. But I'm just going to show you how to fill it up. So this um, lid along the top you push down and this flips up and it says you know um, only put only fill with cold water only etc so grab one of the jugs and you just pour water into it like that and that should see yes the water now is very close to the max it will let you know if there isn't any, isn't enough water by refusing to make coffee. So now it asks you to select your drink. And you, as you can see, you can have everything from uh, espresso, latte, flat white, cappuccino. Uh, it's morning, I'm dying for my cappuccino, so I'm going to push cappuccino. Now, you've got to grind first. Uh, and then brew, and this is the thing for the milk. So in order to grind the coffee, you take the um, cup out of the central bit and you put it into the grinder mechanism. So you put it in at a slight angle and it clicks um, into uh, a 90 degree position. Go back here and just push grind. <laughs> does it grind it tamps because apparently tamping is very important who knew uh, so remove the cup by the same way as you did as you put it in and again at the same angle um, put the cup into the central and that's a bit stiffer but you still you don't need to to have it um, any further around than 90 degrees then take your cup put it underneath uh, underneath the uh, spout and just press brew and within a few seconds the coffee will start coming out into the cup. Now if you've decided that actually you did want an incredibly strong little coffee you can pause it at any point but it does actually um, stop of its own accord when it considers that there's enough coffee in there to make a, in this case, cappuccino. So then the milk, um, take the little jug. Now the idea with the milk is that whatever amount of milk you use, the big jug or the little jug, you always want the level of the milk to be just above this white line here on the milk wand. Pull that out, put the jug back, and then you just press the milk and it starts frothing. Now you can actually do this at the same time as you are making your coffee. But I thought for this um, uh, how-to video it was probably easier to do them separately. And the milk, which froths brilliantly by the way, does also uh, make excellent hot chocolate. 
so here's my coffee. Look at that crema. If you're putting sugar in, um, put it into, into the cup first, because then it uh, melts while you're doing that. The sound, it sounds as though it's going to be ready soon. Yep, ready. And then you just remove, you just pull the wand forward and slide the uh, jug out of the way. Now, this bit is a bit, um, needs a bit of attention. So you just clean it off and being very careful when you push this back, not to have your hand anywhere near the spout because it does, goes into self-cleaning mode. So you push it back like that and it cleans itself so you don't have to fiddle about it. Right, back to our coffee. So there's my milk, there's the coffee. Tap, swirl. Now I'm not a barista so we're not going to be getting any latte art, even though, look, I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, how pathetic is that? Anyway, um, yes, I've given myself a bell pepper. Oh, well. Anyway, look at that cappuccino. I hope you enjoy your coffee as much as I do. Oops, and I almost forgot. My husband gets very cross with me because I do forget quite a lot. This is the cleaning bit. So you take the um, handle, you switch, uh, you push it to an angle again, and there is your spent coffee. Um, give it a bit of a bash into the coffee grinds thing. Um, and uh, if you're making more coffees, then just um, repeat the series of actions. But otherwise, just give it a bit of a rinse under the tap and then put it um, back there. And you are done.